Well, I'm going to show um, how to uh, knit these pom pom, this pom pom yarn. I've had to work it out uh, for myself. So, at first, you'd have to make a slip knot to cast on. I'm using three and a quarter millimeter needles or the old English size ten. I'll try and make a, a slip knot with this. That's it. So I've made a slip knot and I'm going to, to show how you cast on. And this is the way I worked out the only way I could cast on with this was to to put the yarn over the needle. I'll get that up a bit. I put the yarn over the needle then Take it off, turn it round and put it on that way. And you need to make two, two stitches. On each, each strand of yarn. And there's the one, one that you'd made with a slip knot and two And then put it on, twist it over the over the needle, take it off and turn it round, put it on again. Well, I'm going to do um ten, ten pom poms, not including the the one at the start here. I don't know if there's any other way to cast on with um, this, but <laughs> it's the only way I could work out. So that's one, two, three, four. <laughs> You don't have to have the um, the cast on tight because you want plenty given the the thing when it's done. One, two, three, four, five, six to the seventh one. It's a bit awkward to get a hold of sometimes. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And when you've got the tenth one, that's what I'm doing, ten. You only do one. Because on your last stitch and your first stitch, 
you only knit one because you'd be turning around and doing starting the next row with one which is what's going to happen here that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then you knit I'll knit the first one go to the next one it's a bit awkward to to knit your, your first row with the, the stitches being cast on the way that are You need two stitches. But that's tighter than the need be. And you can knit it loosely. Then you need to miss the pom pom. Go on to the next two. Pull some of this pom pom stuff out. Once you get past this first cast on row, it's, it's a lot easier. Nearly to the end of this row. Get the, the needle in the yarn. And on to the last stitch where we'll only knit one into this part. And that's one row knitted. I turn it, we'll do another row. And the first, just the one stitch you're doing.
and then everyone is two in the middle of each pom pom. And it's just got to stitch that um, your knitting. That's all you need to do when you're, you're knitting it. Because this actual stitch that you're knitting isn't seen. It's covered with the um, with all the pom poms. And there's the last single stitch at the end. And there you have it, it's that easy. Now I'll do a few more rows and come back and let you see a bit more and there you have it there that's eight rows I've done right one two three four five six seven eight and as you've only got 20 stitches when you look at the um the stitches there's two Two, and then one single one at each end and it comes to 20 stitches it's very quick to um to knit it and it's it's quite easy once you get into the um the hang of it and the it's it's best to knit as as slack as the um the bit of yarn that's between the pom-poms as slack as that yarn will let you and then uh, you have no trouble just go on so I'll be knitting up uh, probably all of the packs I've got of that because I've used quite a bit of um, one ball for for the little bit that um, I've done but I've got two packs of it so see what it likes what it looks like when it comes out when it's finished and it's very stretchy you don't have to worry about it, um, an edge on it because the the edges all the pom poms the same down the sides uh, the edge on the you don't have to do anything um with it because the pom poms make the um the edge and the pom poms when you're knitting just come out the same on both sides so it's not going to take me very long to do that so if you like this little video give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i'd let you see when it's finished